okay so trusted installer is preventing you from deleting cutting renaming or uninstalling any specific file folder or software from your pc right if so then continue watching this video and i'll tell you how to solve trusted installer problem also i'll tell you why you are facing this problem why removing trusted installer is not a good practice and in a separate video i'll tell you how to restore trusted installer when your tweaking is done just keep watching the video till to the end so first of all we'll see how we can remove trusted installer ownership from a file folder or software so later we can modify it easily let's say we are trying to rename this program whenever we try to rename it we see the classic trusted installer message to solve this problem we will right click on the program then properties then security advanced owner now we can see ownership of this software is assigned to trusted installer to remove ownership from trusted installer account we will click on edit now we need to provide ownership to any of these accounts if you don't see your account here you can search for your account from here fortunately our accounts are always enlisted within this change owner to box my current account is rafi i mean rafi hyphen pc slash rafi so i'll select this one you can see which account you are currently using from start menu from here if you are using windows 10 then just open task manager once task manager is opened just click on user tab to see your username ok now we will select our user account then we will click on apply ok 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 the job is not yet done we just provided ownership to our current user account now ok now if we try to rename our program this time you will see your computer will say you need ownership from yourself now Actually we need to provide full control to our account, we just provided ownership but we didn't provide full control along with ownership. So we will right click on the program again then we will go to properties, security, now we will click on edit and uh, here we need to add our user account. Now we can see our account is not enlisted here. We need to add the account first then we will be able to give full control privilege to our account. To do that we will click on the add button. Now here we will write our account name and then click on check names. Now you can see your full account name I mean along with your PC name. Here we can see our account is now enlisted. Now to give full control to our account we will just click on full control checkbox. apply yes okay again okay now if we try to rename our program this time we will be able to rename our program because we provided ownership of this program to our account and then we provided privilege to our account to modify the software now if I try to delete this program, I can even do this too. Actually deleting system file is not really a wise move, so I am going to restore it as soon as possible. Ok, restored. Also I will rename it to its original name. Now see one thing. Trusted installer is actually a default account which is created by Windows itself. Windows actually created this account for some good reasons. In fact, trusted installer prevents deleting and modifying important system files from your computer. Also it prevents virus and other malware programs from damaging your system files. So I'd recommend you to remove trusted installer as long as you are quite sure that you know what you are doing to your system. Otherwise you might end up with a broken system. And even if you removed trusted installer for any sensible reason, just restore the privilege once you have done the tweaking. As this video is getting very long so I am going to make a separate video telling how you can restore trusted installer to your PC. If you are interested just check out the description section for this video too.